at the same time if you have any questions you would like to share anything with us please 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 feel free to use the chat box uh, we are consistently monitoring every single message that comes in the chat so we will make it a point to answer every single one of your questions uh, unfortunately because we have large group size you may not be able to unmute and share or ask your questions but be assured that we will be seeing all of your messages on the chat and responding to all of them hello bharat ma'am bharat sir thank you so much for joining uh, rajdeep sir thank you so much for joining from arunachal pradesh we have uh, another teacher who has joined us from arunachal pradesh great lot of teachers from jnv arunachal we have teachers from jnv bangalore um, hello vijay lakshmi ma'am thank you so much for joining prakash sir from manipur thank you so much for joining very good evening to you Hello, Raj Gopal sir. Thank you so much for joining. Great. Um, requesting the other teachers to please introduce yourself as well, and big thank you to all the teachers who have switched their cameras on. It's lovely to see you all. Thank you. Welcome to the session, Renu ma'am. Welcome, Nagesh. Thank you so much for joining. um uh, vijay lakshmi ma'am in case you have a question or if you wish to say something please please feel free to use the chat box i am looking at the chat box every second as i speak so please make sure you type your message on the chat box to share whatever it is that you have to share with us thank you so much kalpita ma'am uh, good afternoon everyone thank you so much for joining us on time and as kalpita ma'am said last minute change from the uh, you know the, in the joining link so thank you so much for still bearing with us and you know joining here very promptly exactly at 2 minutes even before the session actually starts i would like to welcome you on behalf of khan academy my name is sanket and i lead the teacher training vertical at khan academy some of you from jnv schools and from odisha adarsh vidyalay who have joined probably might have already seen me before in some of the sessions but i think today's session is very special uh, and uh, the reason why this session is special is because there is something new that you are going to hear from us something new that a new addition has happened to the khan academy's platform and uh, that's why i think looks like many of you are also curious to understand more about it and what we are going to talk in today's session is a introduction to khan migo we are going to learn what is khan migo and uh, we are going to learn what is this artificial intelligence power that has gotten you know added uh, into khan academy platform so you must be very curious about all the content of the session today so i am going to request kalpita ma'am if we can go to the next slide and share with all our teacher what's the agenda for the session today but even before the agenda as usual we always have certain rules for our session we are going to be there with you for the next 90 minutes uh, make sure we want to make sure that the session starts on time ends on time and every single minute that you spend on this session is a productive time for all of you we know as a teacher that all of us as a teachers are how busy we are all so please minimize the distractions take a water bottle take a notebook and pen maybe to note down any questions you may have or to you know just take notes as well you can ask us any question that you have in the chat box uh in any thoughts any questions that you have you can share it here and also it's your first introduction to khan migo so it may happen that some of the questions may remain unanswered nothing to worry you have lots of resources on our platform itself to get further help those of you who have joined us from the uh, you know from the oav and jnv schools you have other ways where other team members are also in touch with you to get support on this so that's the quick rules of all this uh, you know this next 90 minutes of the session at the end of the session again some of you might be familiar with this that uh, in order to make this 90 minutes much more productive for all of you we are going to have a quick assessment at the end now you don't need to get scared about this assessment okay we can only as a teacher we are very much familiar with the assessment uh, sometimes we get a chance to become student ourselves and here is your chance for the next 90 minutes hear something exciting about khan migo but at the end of the session you will also get a assessment where there will be three to four questions that we will share it with you and uh, you can attempt those questions just to see whether you understood some of the new things that you are learning in the today's session or do you still have some doubts so the assessment nothing to worry it's not for any you know evaluation purpose it is more for you to just reflect on 
what did you understood in today's session what is it that probably you have more doubts about so that's a basic things about the session now let's come back to the agenda so what's the agenda as you all know 14th november khan migo the artificial intelligence powered you know a tutor is now available for free in india in both english and hindi so what we are going to do today is learn a little bit more about what is this khan migo we will have a little bit introduction about artificial intelligence we will learn about what this khan migo is but within khan migo as a ai tool within that there are multiple close to 30 tools that are available for all of us as a teachers one of the tool is refresh my knowledge which is a revision of key concepts for yourself and for your students we will see how does this tool actually work how can you make use of this tool for your student many of us also needs to prepare lesson plans almost all of us do prepare regularly lesson plans we are also curious about how do I start my lesson? What can I do to get my students excited about the lesson? So there is a special tool within Khan Migo called Lesson Hook. There is another tool called Lesson Plan. And there are many more tools, but another one more small tool that we are going to see is even fun summary poem for your own class. So these are the tools you are not going to just hear about, but you, these are the tools that you will see a live demo in today's session. And at the end of this session, you will also learn how you can enable Khan Migo for your own Khan Academy teacher account. It's again, I would like to stress here, it is free. So any teacher in India who is on Khan, who uses Khan Academy platform can basically enable Khan Migo. If you don't have a Khan Academy account, even then you can create it for free and use Khan Migo. How to do that is exactly what we are going to see it at the end of the session today. So on that note, let's move forward. And before I jump and talk a little bit more about Khan Migo, I want to share with some of those who are joining this session for the first time. Those who are completely new to Khan Academy as an organization, as a platform, I want to share very brief briefly that Khan Academy is a non-profit organization. It is started in 2007 by Sal Khan, who is Padma Shri awardee. Uh, and it's a non-profit organization with a mission to provide a free world-class education for anyone, anywhere. So in that, with that principle in mind, you might have heard a lot about Khan Migo over the last one year where it was implemented in US and few other countries. Finally, we have made it happen. And now Khan Migo is available for free in India. So in a nutshell, if I have to share with you what is Khan, Khan Academy, then uh, Kalpita, ma'am, if we can go to the next slide. Khan Academy is basically your assistant. See, we all as a teacher, I have myself been also a teacher. We all know the number of tasks that we as a teachers need to do. Our main primary task is teaching. But in addition to teaching, there is a, so much of planning that is involved, remediation that is involved, correcting the student answer sheets. That is a part of our job. Uh, sometimes creating question paper that is also required communication with the parent communication with other stakeholders in the school system so a lot of administrative work is also a responsibility of the teacher now in all of this khan academy aims to equip teachers with certain technological help so that we are able to focus on the most important task that we have which is to support our students so khan academy is not here to add something to your work but it is there to make your job easier. We want you to spend every minute that you have, a working minute that you have, in order to support your students. So that rest of the other work that you have, how can we minimize that? How can we make it much more efficient? How can we get the technology's help to solve for some of those other work that you are doing? That's exactly is the uh, mission that we have. And with that objective, we have been working with close to 35,000 teachers across India have been using Khan Academy. And uh, this Khan Academy as an assistant is just getting better now because now the AI power is also getting joined uh, to this Khan Academy as a platform. Yeah. So with that, Kalpita ma'am, if we can move to the next slide. Now, this is where, you know, let's even before I introduce you to this assistant, I would like to first hear from some of you. If you are going to get this free assistant, now I think the free word is not here, but I'm going to again emphasize here, emphasize here. 
if you are all as a teacher working in the school for our student we have many tasks if you get one free assistant what is the task you would like to give it to them right so think about it and share your input in the chat box think about it if you get a teaching assistant you can close your eyes and maybe go into a little bit uh, you know reflective mode and see if you have 40 students 50 students in the classroom you have more than enough work what is it that you would like to use this help from the assistant so kalpita ma'am i think i remind you of my teaching days as well when i was teaching second grade classroom and i had 96 students in my classroom so yeah. it used to be always a question about uh, how do i group my students because sometimes the grouping of the student depends a lot on what learning level they are at and every single week i had to sometimes change the groupings yeah. so if I have an assistant i would like to you know get some help in grouping the students according to their learning levels i also had to do a lot of worksheets i had to prepare so that my students can do some independent practice so yeah. here also i would love to you know get some help i think responses have started coming sunil dat sir is saying ki question paper banane mein we will get help to make class interesting sunil dat sir thank you so much for sharing your uh, response here nalini ma'am nalini singh ma'am is saying ki to provide different question set as per the learning capabilities thank you so much requesting other teachers yeah. also to do share but kalpita ma'am you have also been a teacher any any super power uh, i mean with this assistant what is the task that you would like to give it to them i think i'm in full agreement with the responses that we are getting in the chat if the class size is really big our biggest challenge is to do something that helps all the students we have that intention i always wanted to make sure that all the students in my class are learning but it was impossible to sit and make worksheets for every single type of learners who are struggling if i gave very simple questions to the students who learn very fast they would finish it in 2 minutes so if i get a free assistant i think i am just going to make that assistant create question types for different types of learners quickly so that i don't have to spend my time i think that is exactly what nalini ma'am is saying as well 100% agreed ma'am if we get an assistant who can do this for us uh i think all our students will do really well and it will save us so much time as well agreed with rajdeep sir as well he is saying that he would like to use the assistant to make the class more joyful and interesting that's something that we all would also love to see any other responses teachers any other ideas i think uh all the schools that we've visited we've seen teachers having some very wonderful wishes of what they would do if they got an assistant and and the picture that we saw in the previous slide right the teacher with 10 hands all of us are basically like that we're constantly trying to do multiple things at the same time and juggling different priorities and i am 100% sure that an assistant is what would make all of our lives very very easy uh, kalpita ma'am i think why not take an example of what nalini singh ma'am has said she said that to provide different question set as per the learning capabilities can we show a small trailer to nalini ma'am and to everybody else about the power of ai and i mean the power of khanmigo as a tool to support teacher by quickly creating some questions absolutely and and i would love to do that with all of you since you all have joined today's session to learn more about how artificial intelligence is going to help us without talking too much more i think what we should all do is jump right into seeing hamara fayda kaise hoga right how will we as teachers benefit from this so let's quickly look at whether khanmi go jiske bare mein hum itni baat kar rahe hain can this khanmi go really help us to generate questions to help students practice right so what i'm going to do is um, request all of you to just share any topic that you are teaching which your students are finding difficult or which they need more practice on right uh, if you can just type that in the chat box along with the grade which you teach right for example there might be a teacher who is struggling to teach um, let's say quadratic equations in class 7 so you can just type quadratic equations class 7 and i will pick that as an example to check if this uh, ai powered teaching assistant that we are talking about 
if that assistant can help us to actually solve our problem. Um, any topic between class uh, 6 to 10, if you would like to share. OK, Nalini Ma'am is suggesting acids, bases, and salts for grade 7. Awesome. Let's pick this example up. Keep your answers coming. We're going to see a bunch of demos in, in the rest of the session as well. So if there are any topics at the top of your mind, I would request the other teachers to share as well. Abhijit sir, Nyaneshwar sir, we would love to hear your answers and thoughts as well. Please use the chat box so that we can uh, hear your thoughts and uh, take them forward. Right? Great. So let's take a quick look at our friend here and see if it can help us to create questions. So there is a tool here, as you can see, called Questions Generator. I'm quickly going to go to our Questions Generator and select the grade level 7, because Nalini Ma'am needs help with grade level 7, acid, salts, and bases. So I don't want a very long questionnaire. I just want to generate five quick questions which my students can practice. So let me just say that the number of questions that I want is five, and the topic on which I want to generate questions is acids, bases, and salts, right? It took me just five seconds to give this information to Khan Miko. And I'm going to click on Start. Let's see if Khan Miko can do this job for us. While I think uh, Khan Miko is giving response, Sibani ma'am, thank you. Kirti ma'am, Saurabh sir, Rajdeep sir. Thank you so much for sharing your inputs as well. And here you go. I think Anmigo is here. Yes, Kalpita. Anmigo has lived up to the test. We have five questions which Anmigo has created. And they are covering all the different topics that we had given Anmigo, acids, bases, and salts. If you wish, you can make the number of questions fewer or higher based on your requirement. And you know what's the best part? You also get an answer key so that you can easily check answers of the students. This is going to be especially helpful in mathematics, where I need questions for students to practice all the time. Kitne bhi questions hum students ko dete hain, wo kam hi padte hai, right? So imagine if you get a question generator, which can give you questions in five seconds, along with an answer key, that's going to make all our lives so much simpler, right? And as you explore this tool on your own, you will also start learning that there are ways to make these questions tougher and simpler so that you can cater to students of various learning levels. So I can't wait to have you all explore this tool and check out the power of Khanmigo. Right? So I hope you have seen this uh, small demo that we just uh, showed you. Let us now try and think a little bit about how this became possible. Paanch seconds mein, Khan Migo ne hume paanch questions aur uske answers bana ke de diye. But do you know how this has become possible? Or how are we able to do this? Can somebody share in the chat box if you know the, know the answer or if you would like to guess? How do you think this became possible? Do you know what this technology is called through which we just got Khan Migo to generate five different questions for us? Would love to see your answers in the chat box. Amazing. Thank you so much, Rupali ma'am and Mukesh sir. Fastest fingers first. Using artificial intelligence is super quick. Thank you so much. Artificial intelligence or AI is the technology using which we as teachers are able to get all of this support for ourselves, right? So for those of you who already know about AI, you would know that it is basically a technology, right? But for those of you who are hearing it for the first time, let us have a quick discussion about what is artificial intelligence or AI, jiske baare mein aaj kal sab baat kar rahe hai. Let's quickly understand what exactly is artificial intelligence, right? So if you think about it, artificial intelligence is basically a technology which allows computers or any computer device to interact with us. Right? Ab jaise mene Khan Migo se question poochha, to mene Khan Migo ke saath interact kiya. I had a conversation with Khan Migo and it generated answers for me as if it is a person. It can solve problems like a human being. It can think like a human being. But the important part to keep in mind is that it is not a human being. At the end of the day, it is a computer. And all that the computer is doing is that it is taking instructions from people 
and giving output back to people. So it does not have a brain. It does not have emotions and all the things that make human beings really unique. AI does not have. It is simply a technology which is using a bunch of instructions and inputs and giving output to people to help them complete multiple tasks in life. Right. So let's now look at what exactly we've understood what is artificial intelligence. But a lot of you might be thinking, Ki, theek hai, itni saal artificial intelligence nahi tha paas. but we've still been teaching. Some of you have been teachers for 10, 20, 30 years, right? And we have been teaching, we have been living our lives without the use of AI for all of these years. So you might be wondering, and even I wondered about it when I first heard of AI, is but is AI really important for me? Do I really need AI? My life is pretty fine without it, right? In case that's something that you have been thinking about as well, here's a little thought that I would like to share with you, right? So AI is basically like a compass. It is going to help you to navigate through today's digital world in an easy and relatively simple way. Right now, take a simple example of a smartphone. Can you put a yes in the chat box if you have joined this session using a smartphone? I would just like to understand how many of us are using smartphones. So if you have joined this session using a smartphone or a mobile phone, can you just type a yes in the chat box, please? Ram Gopal sir, thank you so much. Amazing. Majority of us have joined this session using a smartphone, right? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am, Kirti, ma'am, Rahul, sir. Absolutely. So, aad se 10 saal pehle, smartphones itne easily available nahi the. But today, every single person is using a smartphone. Very few exceptional people don't use smartphones today, at least in most places. And that is because it has become so common and it's a part of our daily life. Now, the people who do not use smartphones, are they able to do things like joining such sessions or are they able to do banking online? Are they able to shop online? Are they able to travel anywhere using a map? No, right? So just, just like how smartphones have become a very, very important part of our lives today, AI is also going to be a very integral part of our lives in future. Right? So keeping that in mind, AI is not only important for us to know, but it is also important for us to understand how to use so that we are able to use it for our convenience and to make our lives simpler. And it's not even surprising that AI has already become a very big part of our lives. How many of you use Google Maps to travel somewhere? If you need to go somewhere, how many of you put the location on the map and quickly understand how much time do you need to travel there. I can see many of you have raised your hands. Thank you so much. Most of us do that, especially in cities when we have to travel from one place to another, we immediately put the name of the place where we want to go on map. On YouTube, if we watch any video, the next day YouTube starts showing us similar videos to the one that we have seen. Why is that? It's because the YouTube, the Google Maps are all seeing and understanding what we are doing and what we are using. And based on that information, it is suggesting us these songs to listen to. It is suggesting us a route which we should take to get to our end point. Right? And in future, we are also going to have self-driving cars which are going to come up, which, I mean, they are already a reality, but we will start seeing them all because of artificial intelligence. And that is how deeply AI is going to become a part of our lives very, very soon, right? So now that we know ki AI ka use hum kaise karte hain, let us think a little bit about how is Khanmigo going to help us to use AI for our day-to-day -day work, which is teaching. How can our work become simple using AI at Khan Academy? So many of you, as I can see, already have Khan Academy accounts and you have been using Khan Academy in the past. Even if you haven't, even if you're joining this webinar for the first time and you have never used Khan Academy before, let us have a quick look at how AI is going to be used at Khan Academy. You've seen how questions can be generated, but let me tell you, that is not all. There are multiple tools and a lot more that AI can do 
and we are going to use all of those tools at Khan Academy to make our lives as teachers easier, right? So before we move on to seeing more tools, I have a quick message to share with you, and I would request all of you to listen to this really carefully because it's a very important message. Sal Khan, who is the founder of Khan Academy, has a little bit of information and update to share with you all. Please watch this video carefully. And I have one request. While you are watching this video, please think about what is the purpose of using AI in classrooms? We have amazing, we have really good teachers who have uh, done a lot of good work and made their students grow from uh, point A to point B. But how is AI going to help us? Is AI really important for us? That is what I want you to keep thinking about as you listen to this video, right? So let me play the video. And if you can see the screen, if you can see the video and hear the audio, please give me a quick thumbs up in the chat box. Hi teachers, Sal Khan here from Khan Academy. As I'm sure you are aware, there's a lot of talk about things like artificial intelligence, including in education, and this has been an area of focus for us. But there's a few very important things to keep in mind as we go down this journey together. The first is, if I had to pick between the world's most amazing technology, AI or otherwise, and not having a real human teacher, versus an amazing human teacher and no technology at all. I would pick the amazing teacher and no technology at all every time because nothing is going to be able to replace that human to human connection. The other thing that we've always stressed at Khan Academy, but is especially important now that the world seems enamored with artificial intelligence is that you should never be thinking about using technology for technology's sake. It should not be, hey, that thing is cool, let's figure out a problem for it to solve. What you have to reflect on are what are the problems that you have always been trying to solve, and maybe this technology can help you with that. So the problems that we have always thought about at Khan Academy and hope to partner with you to continue to think about how we can make your lives easier are how can we address the issue that in a class of 30 students, you have really 30 individual needs. Before the pandemic, your average American classroom had three grade levels in it. Now, after the pandemic, I've seen reports where it could be five or six grade levels of preparedness in that one classroom. This is something that y'all experience every day. You wish that you had an army of teaching assistants to be able to uh, help support you, help you save time, do things like create lesson plans, et cetera, and also to be able to help support the students, essentially tutor them, but also do it in a way that it's connected with you as the instructional, as the instructional leader. And so that's the lens that we've, to some degree, always taken at Khan Academy with personalization and mastery learning. And so when we saw the tools that are possible with artificial intelligence, if we put the right guardrails in place to make it safe, we said this could take us potentially even further on those goals, the goals of better support for students and the goal of better support for teachers. That second one I wanna really, 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 really underline because I think every ed tech tool and all of us at Khan Academy have been guilty of it as well for the last decade plus, we would create these tools, we would do efficacy studies, we would go to you and we would say, hey, Look at these efficacy studies. If you do the following at Khan Academy, you do 20, uh, if you do 30 to 60 minutes a week, it can accelerate your students by this amount, it can personalize. And I think we can all intellectually agree that something like that could be useful, but you already have a lot on your plate and you're, you're thinking, now this is one more thing that I have to learn. And many of y'all have been willing to do it because it can improve outcomes for your students. What we're hoping that we can now do with Conmigo is not only do what I just described better, but to do it in a way that can support you better. So that even though it is yet another thing to learn, by learning it, by making that investment, not only will it improve student outcomes and student supports, but it's going to save you time. We're already getting reports from school districts that teachers are saving at least five hours a week. Five hours a week doing things like lesson plannings, writing progress reports, getting a first pass on certain grades, and by being able to support their students better. So we are excited to go on this journey with you. It is still early days. Just the fact that we are having this conversation, we're working on things together. You are a pioneer here. And we look forward and give us very clear and, 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 uh, and don't, don't, 
don't pull any punches feedback, but we want this to be a way that you can have your cake and eat it too. Support your students better, but while doing so, support yourself better. So you have more time and energy, not only for your students, but for yourself, and you can really foster that human to human connection. Thank you so much for listening to um, Sal's video so carefully, teachers. Uh, before we move forward, I have a quick question for you. Um, I would love to see answers in the chat box again. What I want to know from you is, based on this uh, small four-minute video that you just saw, can you quickly type in the chat box, why would you like to use AI? Can you please share your answers in the chat box before we move forward? Why do you think, why do you want to use AI? Uh, when you already have Google, when you already have uh, the basic Khan Academy platform or so many other tools, we have worksheets, we have so many other things that are available online. Why would you still want to use uh, AI is something I would like to understand. Any thoughts or responses that you would have, I would love to uh, read them in the chat box. Manjula, ma'am, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, it will make your tasks really simple. Thank you so much. Even if you use Google, you have to do the effort. You have to make the effort of searching for it, going inside every single uh, pop-up that appears, picking things from different, different sources, and that takes up a lot of time. So thank you so much. I think it would be amazing to see how this makes your tasks simple. It will make your life quick, Rupali, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Yes, they give very common questions. Other platforms give you questions which are very common. You can get something really unique from AI. It saves time, Gagan sir, absolutely. Um, it's innovative, Shibani ma'am, true. And yes, it's it's Amrita ma'am, absolutely. The most important thing is we want to make sure that your time is getting utilized effectively. We don't want you to spend your time in doing things which technology can take care of. What you are the best at doing is teaching in the classroom, providing that human connection which is required for students to learn, which no technology can replace. Even if I give you the best technology, whether it is AI or some other technology, you will never be able to replace an amazing teacher. So why don't we all as teachers spend our time in doing that and let AI take care of doing all the other tasks which anybody else can also do, right? Thank you so much, teachers, for watching this video carefully. Let us now go right into our uh, today's agenda and learn more about how we as teachers can make our lives simple using our AI-powered uh, teacher assistant, which is Khan Miko, right? So like uh, Sanket sir also mentioned earlier, it is a free AI-powered teaching assistant. Its only job is to help you. So if you have a wish, it is Khan Migo's command, and it is going to make your teaching super simple and more effective. So let us understand, apart from generating questions, what else can Khan Migo do? What else can we get from Khan Migo to make our teaching simple? Right. So before we uh, start seeing what else Khan Migo can do, uh, let me tell you one quick thing here. There are a lot of things Khan Migo can do. Right? But in today's session, we are going to only look at a few examples. And we, we would really want for you to go back after the session, try out and come back with your experiences of having used all of these tools and even a lot of other tools that we may not have time to uh, you know, look at and discuss today. But in today's session, here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at some of these tools that you see on your screen. We're going to try them out so that you will know how these can help you in your classrooms, right? So as you can see, there are multiple tools that are available. There are 25 tools that uh, all of you teachers can access for free on Khan Academy uh, as of now. And as you can see, they are available in different, different colors, right? So all the tools which you can see in pink color are going to help you to differentiate, which means they're going to help you to provide personalized support to different styles of learners, students who are struggling, students who are very quick. You can give them personalized support using all the pink tools. All the tools which are in green are creation tools, which means they can help you to create something. If you want to create a text, you want to create a poem, if you want to create a newsletter, all of these creations will happen. All the purple tools, which personally are my favorite tools, are the planning tools which are available for teachers, which means you want to plan a lesson, you want to plan an activity, you want to plan 
uh, a opening or an exciting hook for your class to attract students' attention, you can do all of that. The blue tools are meant to support you, and the yellow tools are help, meant to help you learn. For example, if you want to learn a new topic or you want to refresh your knowledge of something, the yellow tools are going to help you to do that. Right. So on that note, let's go uh, right into our uh, Khanmigo platform to try out some of these tools. Right. So the first thing that all of us do when we are preparing for any topic, when we are preparing for any subject, the first thing that we as teachers do when I was teaching in a school that I used to do is I used to go through the textbook. I used to go through the entire chapter. I used to understand all the subtopics which are there in the chapter. Then I would also search uh, online to make sure that all the latest updates about that particular topic, uh, I have access to them. And then I would feel confident about walking into the classroom. But what would happen is all of this process of reading the chapter page by page, line by line, would take me so much time. Then I would do YouTube, karo, Google, and update my knowledge. Update karo. All of that would also take me a lot of time. So just my preparing my own knowledge of a topic would take me at least one hour of time. Now, with this tool, the good news is that you can refresh your knowledge in less than 15 minutes and be ready for your class. Even if you have been teaching a particular subject for many years, or if you're newly started to teach that particular subject, right? So let's take a quick look at how Ghanmigo is going to help you to refresh your knowledge of a particular topic. All you have to do is you have to tell Ghanmigo which topic you want to refresh your knowledge in and for which grade, right? For example, you can see on your screen, if you just tell Ghanmigo, give me an overview of board mass for grade seven, Khanmigo is going to give you a quick overview of Podmas for grade seven. You can also tell Khanmigo that I want to know what questions the students might ask me when I teach this topic. And Khanmigo will give you a list of questions that you should go prepared for. Khanmigo can also tell you what kind of questions you should ask the students so that uh, you are able to check whether they have understood what you're teaching or not. Right. So just with a few conversations with Khanmigo, all you have to do is chat and you will get answers to all of these questions. Let's take a look at how this is going to be done. I'm quickly going to share my Khanmigo screen with you all. Yes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool called Refresh My Knowledge. As you can see, it's a tool which is available in the yellow color. It's going to help you to refresh your content knowledge in various subject areas. Um, I can see multiple teachers are uh, raising hands. In case you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat box. Yeah, thank you. So again, I'm going to come back to you and ask you a quick question. Is there any topic about which you want to uh, get more information from Khanmiko, about which you want to refresh your own knowledge? Uh, please chat box, put your questions. Uh, suggestions share Give me any topic, any volunteer who would like to share, any topic which you want Khan Migo to uh, help you in revising. Along with the topic, please also mention what grade level you're teaching. Like for example, board mass for grade seven, right? Any topic followed by the grade, le grade level for which you want to teach. Uh, Sangeet sir, what do you think? When, when you were a teacher, what were some of the most challenging topics for which you would have to revise a lot before entering the class. We have a lot of teachers who are sharing that they needed help with conic sections, for example. Yeah. Was. I think I used to teach uh, for the primary grades and I used to find the division as the, you know, one of the difficult topic for a student. I think addition, they'll find it easier, subtraction, slowly multiplication. But division is where I think things used to get a lot more complicated. But I think we are getting uh, some higher grade uh, request as well. So Sibani Panda ma'am uh, saying ki conic sections, Rajdeep Pandelwal sir is saying properties of triangle of class seven. I think this is very specific request that we have received from Rajdeep Pandelwal sir. Uh, Kalpita ma'am, can we try this properties of triangle of class seven? Absolutely. Yes, we can try out uh, properties of triangles. And uh, there's another very good question on the chat, which is chat GPT is already there. Why would we use it? Uh, we will definitely answer this question because I'm sure a lot of teachers are thinking about this as well. So let's take a look at this demo very quickly and then we will come back to answering uh, this important question right here. 
Okay, so let's ask Khan Migo. Can it help me to quickly revise properties of triangles for seventh grade? So as you can see, there's a chat window that opens up here, and all I have to do is type my question. Let me say, give me an overview of properties of triangles for seventh grade. Yeah. Okay, I've asked Khan Migo this question. Let's see how Khan Migo responds to this. And while you are also looking at this, please think about all the similarities or differences that you can observe between this and ChatGPT as well. Right. So within a few seconds, Khan Migo, as expected, has given us this answer. There are five major concepts about properties of triangles, which um, Khan Migo has suggested. And Khan Migo is also giving me two options. Do I want to understand these concepts even more in more detail? If yes, do I want to be quizzed about this topic to check my own understanding? Or do I want to learn through conversation? So as you can see, Khan Migo is not only giving me information about properties of triangles, but it understands what level of difficulty is required for a seventh standard student to know. This is something that Khan Migo will be able to do much better than any other uh, program or platform like ChatGPT, right? It's more tailored for teachers to be used in an educational context. And all of these tools will give you more personalized responses, more accurate responses in which you can easily use in a classroom setting. You might get the same responses on ChatGPT, but you will have to spend a lot of time ask a lot of more specific questions to chat GPT to get the same response, which you might get from Khan Migo on a single click, right? So let's ask another question to uh, Khan Migo here. I have understood what I need to prepare for uh, properties of triangles, but I also want to be ready for any questions that students might ask or any doubts that students might ask, right? So let me quickly just ask Khan Migo, can you give me some questions or doubts that seventh grade students might have because i want to be prepared from their perspective what questions the students might ask so let's see if khan Migo is able to tell me what kind of questions students might have great khan Migo has also suggested some doubts that might come up about types of triangles about the angle sum property or congruence and similarity. So I will be clear about these questions before walking into this class, before walking into the classroom. I can also ask Khan Migo to give me some questions which I can ask the students. What questions can I ask students to check if they have understood? Let's see if Khan Migo is able to give me some questions to check students' knowledge. There you go. You already have a list of questions as well, which you can ask Khan Migo, which you can ask students to check if they have followed what you're trying to teach. Now, if you want to go deeper into any of these questions, let's say, for example, you only want to cover angle sum property in a particular class. If you want to go deeper into angle sum property, feel free to ask more questions about angle sum property to Khan Migo, and it will keep helping you out more specifically in that area. Right? Uh, Professor, in case the slide is not properly visible to you, I'm really sorry. Uh, do try sir, I think it could be just because sir is joining from the mobile phone. Yeah. Sir, just to give you a test of this, maybe I would like to read one of the questions that Khan Migo just now gave. Uh, to this prompt, where for the types of triangles, a question that is given to a teacher is that, can you give an example of a real world object that looks like an equilateral triangle and explain why? So if you can see here, whatever your request is, if you specifically outline it and request Khan Migo, you can get the typical question that the students will ask that will help you to prepare your lesson accordingly. At the same time, you can even get some questions that you can ask students, either to create the excitement, either to check for their understanding. Both the ways, basically, this refresh my knowledge as a tool within the entire Khan Migo can help you. Again, I'm sharing here with you that within Khan Migo, close to 30 tools are available within Khan Migo. 
one of the demo that kalpita ma'am showing right to now to you is a specific tool called refresh my knowledge uh, kalpita ma'am if you can also maybe zoom in a little bit your chrome window so that probably we might be able to see uh, the font somewhat uh, bigger but thank you so much prakhar sir for engaging uh, you know uh, with this yes over to you kalpita ma'am great thank you so much for adding uh, that little bit sanket sir and uh, very grateful to all the teachers who are also engaging in the chat can it help us generate different type of questions uh, long answer short answer multiple choice questions etc great question uh, you can definitely get multiple choice questions generated there is a separate tool on khan we go to generate multiple choice questions and you can always prompt can we go and tell them what type of questions you want so that you are able to generate more questions of that type more importantly whenever can we go generates questions you can also make small small changes to those questions if you require and you can edit and print or save uh, those questions which have been generated as well right so now we have seen two things we have seen how do we generate questions to check students understanding we have also seen before we walk into any class how do we prepare ourselves in the best possible way how do we make sure that i am as a teacher absolutely ready with all the concepts which i am going to uh, teach in class now after we have refreshed you know our own knowledge of the topic the next thing that i want to do as a teacher is i want to now start thinking how can i make this topic interesting for the students right that's the first question we start thinking about when we start planning our class okay i'm going to start a new topic how do i make this topic exciting for my students how do i make this topic more interesting for them what can i do so that a dry and a non exciting topic can also become exciting and interesting for my students a lot of teachers who teach very tricky subjects uh think about this right so let's see if khan me go can help us to actually create a lesson hook which means can i ask khan me go to give me one such activity with which i can start my class and make my class extremely exciting because if i start my class in an exciting way all my students will get gripped and hooked to the class and they will pay attention uh, for the rest of the class now can i generate a hook on my own i absolutely can i can look at youtube i can look at chat gpt i can look at so many other places online and i can ask for amazing hook ideas but what i really want is something that is appropriate for my students for their level and i also want something which can be done in 10 15 minutes and will not take up a lot of time i also want something which can be done using easily available materials which i don't have to do too much hard work for right so let's see if kanmigo can actually help me to create something like this to have a great start to my next class which i'm going to conduct right so when we say we want a lesson hook we basically just have to ask kanmigo please give me a hook for a lesson on xyz topic now let's say we are talking about uh, our uh, the topic which we have started working on right now is properties of triangles so i am going to ask uh, khan migo to generate a hook for this topic which is properties of triangles so that i i can refresh my knowledge and then i can get a very exciting class started as well right we are back to khan migo right so let's look at this tool i hope all of you can see this tool in purple called lesson hook on my screen the tool lesson hook is basically going to help us to plan a compelling exciting starter for our class that students are engaged what does khan migo need hum hum teen cheeze denge khan migo ko one we have to let khan migo know which grade level are we talking about we have to give them the lesson topic and a little bit of context about it which is optional right so the grade level which we are looking at uh, is grade 7 and the topic that we're talking about is properties of triangles right let's hit start let's see if khan migo can give us an exciting hook to teach students the properties of triangles khan migo has already suggested three different activities 
yes, Kanmigo has suggested three different activities. We can look at all these three activities. We can begin with a hands-on activity where we give students strings and pins to create different types of angles on a board. And then we can ask them to change the lengths and sides to see how the uh, type of the triangle formed, how that changes, and then have a discussion on it. Now, this is an activity that I really like, but I'm thinking this could take up a lot of time and I will require a lot of material for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight this. Okay. And I want this activity to be changed to something that is simple. So I can just click on this uh, refresh button here, which says try something different. I click on this and Khan Migo will immediately suggest something that is different or simple, right? So Khan Migo has given me an inter interactive digital activity, which I can use instead of the previous suggestion that Khan Migo had given me. Uh, I think, ma'am, it would be great if you just read it aloud because some of the teachers are on the uh, mobile phone. So any one of the activity, if you can just read it aloud and we get some, you know, reactions from the teachers. Do they like this activity? Uh, do they think it could do better? Absolutely. So here is here is a uh, an activity that I would like to read out. The suggestion is present a real world problem where students must determine the most effective way to design a triangular garden plot. Provide them with constraints such as tell them what area of the triangle should be, the perimeter of the triangular plot should be, and ask them to work in teams to propose different triangle configurations, discussing the advantages and disadvantages of each. Now, this is the activity which Khan Migo is suggesting to help them understand about the properties of triangles. What do you think? Is this something that is easy? Is it something that is difficult? Is this something that can be done in the classroom or it's not possible whatever your thoughts are teachers please uh, share those with us on the chat box would this be something that you would be interested to try out in your class what do you think um, i would also like to ask this question to uh, rajdeep sir who has suggested this topic do you think this is something that you can use in your class or no really asking for an honest response here if not, we can always tell Khan Migo to change it, right? So please remember that as well. Yeah, so I think one of the activity, Kalpita ma'am, is this real world problem of triangle, right? Like as a garden, triangular garden plot designing. That's one of the options that is given. The other uh, option that it has given as a you know activity is to organize a cultural exploration activity where students research and present on famous triangular structures around the world, such as pyramids of Giza, or the Eiffel Tower. Discuss how the properties of the triangles contribute to the stability and design of these structures, linking geometry to engineering and architecture. Right. So maybe you can select also whichever activity that you feel is the one that you feel it is feasible for your own classroom. If you want to change, you want to get better ideas, more ideas, simpler ideas, all of that is an option that you have uh, within Khan Migo. Uh, I think there is a lot of, you know, debate around, uh, not the debate, I would say, but a viewpoint around that some of the teachers are saying already they're using chat GPT. How can this be a different? I would like to, again, just reiterate here that within an educational setting, considering the specific needs of the teachers and students, Khan Migo is designed keeping that in mind. So if you see the all the set of different uh, tools that are available within Khan Migo, these are all designed using AI as a tool technology, but more customized towards the field of education. So in chat GPT, you can get much more general information, but every time to be able to explain it to chat GPT that you are a teacher teaching these set of students. This is the topic. This is my curriculum alignment. Accordingly, you need to get some questions. I think those are the things where you will be able to uh, find Khan Migo much more helpful than the chat GPT, but you're using chat GPT. That means you're already, I think I would suggest kind of like ready uh, to make the most out of even Khan Migo as well. So you, I would say the test of the pudding is in testing it. Then in that case, uh, my suggestion would be for those who are already using chat GPT, just log in for five minutes, explore these activities and take your own, I would say a decision about what works best for you. Yeah. Okay, Kalvita, ma'am, over to you again. Uh, I know you have some more exciting tools to you yeah. know share with with all our teachers. 
Yes, and before we move on to looking at the uh, other tools, I, I would also like to show you something that uh, one of you had asked in the chat box is, can we print these things, right? Uh, especially if we're generating uh, questions or hooks or anything, can we print these out? The answer is absolutely yes. So firstly, there is the option to save all of these things on Khan Academy itself, which you can access at any time, and you will not use up any memory or any storage on your phone. So you can save them to my documents. If you just click on my documents, you will be able to see all the things which you have generated so far, whatever hooks you have generated, whatever questions you have generated, quizzes you have generated, lesson plans you have generated. All of these things are available in the my documents option. Right? So that's always uh, ready for you to access at any point that you want. Sorry, I wasn't sharing it. Now you, you will be able to see it. It's all available under my documents here. Uh, coming back to uh, our lesson hook window, over here you also have the option of printing it. So if your device is connected to a printer, you can directly print it. Or you can also share this by copying the link of uh, this particular document. Right. Uh, so all of these options are available. In addition to this, if you want to have a conversation with Khanmigo like you would have with chat GPT or any other uh, you know, AI generative model, you can highlight the activity. Like, let's say, for example, triangular garden plot wala idea aapko pasand aya, and you want to make it more suitable for your classroom. You have to select that and click on this discuss this option. When you click on this option, you can actually tell Khanmigo what do you want it to do. If you want to tell Khanmigo that, listen, I really like this activity, but give me a more detailed idea or a detailed description of this. Tell me what exact instructions I should give to the students. Just tell Khanmigo and it will give you exact instructions which you should give uh, to your students in the classroom. Let's try it out quickly. Which I can give my students. I only have 15 minutes for this activity. Let's see if it can help us here. Right, and while ChatGPT is sending its answer, I'm just going to check in the chat box if there are any other questions. Uh, I think uh, Janak Raj sir had asked us, ki, can can he save or print basically these documents? Sir, as you can see it on the screen, on the top right corner, you see print, export options, share options. So you have an ability to edit these things the way you want it. And you can directly print and export the document from here. So any yeah. customization is also possible and exporting it for your own classroom printing that is also available uh, here. Yes, and as as I had uh, expected, Khanmigo has also given us what exactly I will need for this activity. It has told me that I will need this material, what I need to speak in the class, step-by-step -step instructions are given here, the time breakdown of this activity is also given here. And if I want to make any changes to this, I can further ask Khanmigo to make changes to it. Right? So I personally think this is going to be great because if I had to come up with an activity, it would have taken me at least 20 to 30 minutes. But within five minutes, Khanmigo has simplified my task and given me a really exciting activity to begin my class with. Right Now that I have a great hook, I'm going to start teaching this topic of uh, uh, the, 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 the topic which we are teaching right now, which is properties of triangles, using this um, activity, which is creating a triangular plot in the garden. Now, the next thing that I need is a lesson plan. What I need is a lesson plan with all the details of what I need to do in the classroom, what students will be doing in the classroom, how am I going to check whether students have understood what I have been teaching them? All of these things that a lesson plan has, I need that entire lesson plan, right? Now, if I had to create this lesson plan, it would have taken me 45 minutes to one hour to create a new lesson plan. Now, with the help of Khanmigo, let us see if we can get a brand new lesson plan for this particular topic. So can somebody give me uh, a more specific 
topic within properties of triangles on which we can ask Khan Migo to create a lesson plan. Any any suggestions or any ideas? If we're looking at the topic properties of triangles, properties of triangles may say up a class me. What will you teach in a single class? Which property of the triangle or which method do you want to use? Any suggestions? Looking at the chat box to hear any suggestions that you might have, or we'll pick up a different topic. Awesome. Rahul sir has given us a suggestion, Pythagoras theorem. Thank you so much, Rahul sir. Uh, Rahul sir, can you tell us which grade you're teaching Pythagoras theorem for? Is this for grade six, grade seven? Let's say. You're teaching this for grade seven. OK, awesome. So now let's ask Khan Migo to create a lesson plan for us to teach the Pythagoras theorem for class seven. Let's go back to Khan Migo. These are all the teaching tools that we have. Just like lesson hook, you will also see that there is a tool called as the lesson plan, which will help you to create a very detailed and a structured lesson plan which will meet all your students' learning needs. For example, if you have students in your classroom who are really struggling with the basics of mathematics, who will struggle to understand Pythagoras theorem, you want to create slightly different kind of a plan for them. You want to support them differently. This tool should be able to help you to do that as well. Let's see if we can get that from Khan Vivo. So let's describe the topic which we're teaching. We are teaching. Pythagoras theorem. Yes. So here we have the Pythagoras theorem. Let's start. Kanmigo is slowly creating the lesson plan. Already, we have the lesson warm up activities which have been given. Independent practice questions are here. There are some teacher resources that Khan Migo is providing. And important concepts definitions are also here. And lastly, there is a list of materials and a summary of the lesson as well. So let's take a quick look at what kind of a lesson plan has Khan Migo generated. I hope my screen is um, visible and you're able to see the text on the Khanmigo window. I have zoomed it and also in case uh, anybody was having a difficulty. So this lesson is basically a, a lesson which has been divided into five parts. There is a five minute warm up activity which Khanmigo has suggested. Then there is 15 minutes of direct instruction followed by 20 minutes of guided practice, 15 minutes of independent practice time. And lastly, there is also a five minutes exit ticket. Now, we want to learn more about the warm-up activity. So let's go up and see what is the warm-up activity that Khanmigo is suggesting. Um, yes, so there is a quick activity called which one doesn't belong. Khanmigo is saying you present four right angle triangles with different side lengths. Ensure one triangle has side lengths that do not satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. Ask students which triangle does not belong to this group. Encourage them to identify the triangle that doesn't fit and explain why. This activity activates the prior knowledge of triangle properties and prepares the students for applying the Pythagorean theorem. Right. So this activity is assuming that the students know a little bit about triangles and lengths. And then if the students are able to solve this activity correctly, the teacher knows that, yes, they remember the concept of uh, triangles, which has been taught to them earlier. And they can now start learning the concept of Pythagorean theorem. Then there is a direct instruction. They have explained what all the teacher needs to highlight and explain to the students. Some examples have been given. There is also a problem which has been suggested, which the teacher can solve. There is a real world scenario with which you can connect this problem. There is a guided practice activity where students can work and solve some questions in pairs. There are also some independent practice suggestions and an exit ticket. Right. So this way, you already have a lesson plan which Khan Academy, uh, which Khan Migo has suggested. If you want to make any changes to this, similar to what we saw in the lesson hook tool, you can ask Khan Migo to make those changes. For example, you can click on this 
and you can say um, give me a simpler warm up activity activity my students are struggling in math let's see if khanmigo is able to simplify this for you all right that's it there's a simpler academy with a uh, simpler activity which is a triangle matching activity where you're providing students with cutouts of triangles which are mixed right angle triangles and non right angle triangles students have to sit in two groups and they have to sort the triangles into right angle triangles and non right angle triangles if you want a more complex activity you can just type the same thing and khanmigo will change it for you similarly if there are any parts of the lesson plan which you want to customize just give khanmigo the right prompts and khanmigo is going to help you with it for example if you feel that there are 20 students in my class who will not be able to solve this question give me a different question for those 20 students khanmigo will simplify the question and share that with you as well right so as you can see i have spent something like 3 to 4 minutes on getting a basic version of a lesson plan all i have to do is spend another 5 minutes and i will get a lesson plan which is exactly what i require and it's going to give me every single detail of what i require to teach this particular concept in my class right any thoughts any uh, feedback or any questions that you have based on the tool that we just saw i am checking if there are any responses in the chat box already um krishan sir sure thank you so much for sharing that we will definitely let you know once we make this progress class 9 and 10 teacher all right sure we'll we'll let you know about the progress of kanmigo when it's ready to be used in higher classes yeah right so we have taken a look at how do we get a lesson plan using khanmigo we have also seen how do we make our class exciting with the help of exciting hooks to grab students attention right but now sometimes when we are teaching students there are a lot of different different things that we do to make that class exciting and when we asked you um, how what will you do with the help of a teaching assistant majority of the teachers shared that you will make the class fun and exciting right because at the end of the day that's what we want hum chahte hain ki hamare bacche excited ho ke classroom mein aake padhe we want them to feel happy about the class and to do this we do different things right sometimes we crack jokes in our classroom sometimes we say funny things in our classroom sometimes we sing a song in our classroom sometimes we get up and start we make students dance in, in the classroom and we do all of these things to make the class a little more exciting and in that we also include some educational component or the other to make sure that students are learning about it as well so to make this simple for you we also have several tools which will make your classes exciting and engaging khanmigo can also help you to create a poem if that's what you want right so if you wish to create a small poem to make students revise what they have learned let us see if khanmigo can do that for us so you can see that there is this tool called fun class summary poem this tool which is the fun class summary poem tool is meant to help you to revise whatever you have covered in today's class with the help of a small poem so that it creates a little bit of engagement for your students it makes your students feel like they are having some fun and in the process they also pay more attention to what you're saying right so what we have to do is we have to tell khanmigo what is it that we have covered in today's class and it will immediately give you a poem so let's take this example in today's class we have covered the pythagoras theorem sorry about that pythagoras theorem for class 7 has been covered and we can give them a quick theme like for example i want the poem to be uh, humorous which means i want khanmigo to keep the poem a little funny 
right let's see if khan you can give us a quick poem to recap what we have learned in today's class there it is khan you has quickly given us a poem in a triangle over the side the right angle stands proud and bright with legs so short and one so long pythagoras sings his famous song now just as i i'm reading it i'm realizing that khanmigo has made it a funny poem because i said that the theme is humorous and funny i can also ask khanmigo to generate a pythagoras theorem style poem with the theme about movies my students are crazy about movies so let me see if khanmigo can change the theme of this to movies and do something which excites my students make the theme of this poem bollywood there it is khanmigo has edited the poem in a triangle like a bollywood scene the right angle dances also oh keen with legs that twirl and one that's grand pythagoras leads the mad band so you can use any of the prompts and uh, themes that your students like or you know your students are going to have fun and khanmigo will make a small poem to recap whatever you have taught in that class again once again you can print this poem and put it on the class so that till the time you are teaching that chapter you can use it to recap it every day or you can also just sing the poem at the end of the class so that students are refreshed and they are able to revise whatever they have learned in that particular class so we've seen four different tools so far and we have a request to learn more about the class snapshot tool sanjeev sir how are we doing on time Can yes we, we will we will do this towards the end of the session uh, amrita ma'am thank you so much for your request but just that we'll complete some of the rest of the sections and then we will uh, take this as a question from you towards the end of the session absolutely thank you so much for asking that question still uh, and i'm really happy to see that some of you have already logged in and you have you have seen all the khanmigo tools because you have questions about some of the tools that we have not seen here makes us really happy to see that you have explored khanmigo on your own before coming to this session right so uh, before we uh, get into some of these uh, more detailed questions let's answer some really important uh, questions that you might have in your mind about accessing khanmigo right for example we just saw how to use different tools in khanmigo but how do you get khanmigo how will you get khanmigo on your phone or on your laptop that you can start using all of these tools right so firstly if you do not have a khan academy account here's what you need to do you simply have to create a new khan academy account which of course is free anybody can create a teacher account for khanmigo how you do that is you go to the khan academy website which is khanacademy.org let me quickly share the website in the chat as well um that's the website khanacademy.org please visit the website and uh, follow these simple steps in order to create your own account let me uh, share this process as well so that you know how to create your khan academy account all right so this is what the khan academy page will look like khanacademy.org what you need to do is click on the sign up button because you do not have a khan academy account click on the sign up button select that you are joining khan academy as a teacher please remember to select teacher over here because khan migo as a tool is available only for teachers so you will have to select the teacher option over here uh, without which you will not be able to access khan migo once that happens select the last option which is sign up with email khan uh, academy is going to ask you for just three simple details you need to give your email id your name and you need to create a password for yourself so let me create my new email id here i have put in my email id let me put my name and a simple password for my account 
with these three details, I'm going to click on sign up. And my Khan Academy account has been created. As soon as I land up on my homepage, I see this quick pop-up that comes. Please remember to enter your date of birth over here. If you accidentally close this, you will not be able to access Khan Migo immediately. There is a way to access it as well, but please not close this pop-up. Enter your uh, date of birth over here. As you can see, I have entered my date of birth over here as well. And click on Get Khan Migo for Teachers. That's it. As soon as you enter your date of birth and login, you can see Khan Migo has been activated on your account. You can get a quick tutorial of Khan Migo as well. And all the Khan Migo tools, there are almost 25 tools which are available for you. They're all visible to you on your account. You can mark those tools as favorite. If there are certain specific tools which you're going to be using often, you can mark them as favorite as well. Right now, if you already have a Khan Academy account, but you are not able to see Khan Migo on it, what do you do? So as, as, as usual, you log into your Khan Academy account. I'm going to log into my Khan Academy account where there is no Khan Migo that has been enabled. I hope you're still able to see my screen. I'm back on the Khan Academy.org page. I'm going to enter my password. Right. So as soon as I have logged in, I can see that there is this Khan Migo tools uh, page that comes up. You can also see that Khan Migo tools as a, a new tab has been created on your home page itself. Just click on get Khan Migo for free. Once again, the same thing that we saw earlier, you need to also enter your uh, date of birth here. Please enter the date of birth correctly. and click on this uh, checkbox and click on let's go. As soon as you follow the simple step of selecting your date of birth, Khan Migo has been activated for you as well. You will get a quick tutorial and all the tools will be available on your screen as well. So it's a simple one minute process. Even if you have an account, you can follow this process and get Khan Migo activated. If you don't have an account, create a new account for yourself Within minutes, you will be able to access Khan Academy and all the Khan Migo teacher tools, right? That's the very simple process in order to access Khan Migo teacher tools and enable Khan Migo. Once you have logged in, if you want to access Khan Migo, you will see that there is a button on top as well. You can click on teacher tools over here and you will keep coming back to the same page. Right? So after enabling Khan Migo, you will be able to find it on top next to the Khan Academy uh, name and banner under the small Khan Migo button. Right? So that's a little bit about how do you access Khan Migo. Uh, I will now hand it over to Sanket sir to take you through some of the other important things which you can keep, keep in mind to yeah. have a very, very smooth experience of using Khan Migo. Yeah. So Amrita ma'am and Manohar Kul sir, I think has shared two questions. We are definitely going to get those, you know, get to those questions. But I think before that, Kalpita ma'am, if we can also just share the screen, I think while using Khan Migo or just any of the AI tools, I think there are a few things that we would recommend you to keep in mind. There are certain guidelines that we recommend. This is to just make sure that you make the most use of this Khan Migo as a tool, right? And you find it this tool as a productive for serving the need that you have for your own students, for your own educational purpose. So first and most importantly, interact with Khan Migo as if you are interacting with any real person. Just keep sure, make sure that you are keeping the communication respectful and you are engaging into back and forth conversation with Khan Migo so that you are able to get the response that you need. There is a, always a scope for customizing the response, improving the response of the Khan Migo. And it all depends around how do you communicate it with Khan Migo? How do you share about the requirement that you have with the Khan Migo? The second thing is for any usage with Khan Migo, my recommendation to you would be is to always have a purposeful use. That means you initiate the conversation with the Khan Migo having a very clear purpose in your mind and engage and ask those questions 
request for that support so that at the end of that interaction you are able to get something that is a very productively something that you can use it for your own classroom third thing not just again with khanmigo only but for any of the ai tool always remember to not share your personal information not just with khanmigo but any of the ai tool what could be those personal informations could be about the names the address this is the information that should not be shared in any of your chat that you do with khanmigo or any other ai tool and also keep the conversations constructive engage thoughtfully and critically see ai is a new technology we need to use ai along with our own critical thinking skills if you do that then you will be able to make most use of this as a tool there are few common questions that we always receive you know from the teachers we have been working with close to 60 teachers very closely as a pilot before we had made this available across all the uh, you know the teachers i would request kalpita ma'am if we can go to the next slide and share some of those common questions that we have you know seen the first one question that we get is will khanmigo replace teachers i think somebody had asked ki does khanmigo can replace chat gpt i would say if you are a teacher and uh, if it serves most of your needs then definitely it can replace can uh, chat gpt but khanmigo is not there to replace teachers khanmigo is here to make your job easier to make it much more efficient so that you are able to focus on what matters the most and what matters the most are our students so as a teacher khanmigo will help you to stay focused in giving attention to your students reducing the rest of the you know the administrative work the planning task that you were involved into making it much more efficient and most importantly saving your time that's what khanmigo is here for it is not there to replace teachers as you have seen it in sal khan's video as well if we have to choose between an excellent teacher and an excellent technological tool we will always choose an excellent teacher because we will genuinely believe that teachers are the ones who actually make the difference and the tools are there to support those teachers now the another question that we get is what is the technology or gadgets required to use khanmigo there are very important two resources required to use khanmigo khanmigo is completely free khan academy platform is completely free only two resources required would be any device it could be laptop or it could be computer it could be a smartphone any device with internet this is the only requirement that you have you do not need anything else to use khan academy platform or even khanmigo as a tool as well the another question that we get is is it safe to chat with khanmigo absolutely safe again this is because we believe in using ai with care this is a tool that is designed specifically for the educators keeping in mind that the ai itself is a new development we have customized it specifically for using it in the education setting so it is safe however as i said with any ai tool you should never share any personal information while chatting with any of the ai tool and that remains the same even with khanmigo we recommend we always request you and we insist that we should not be sharing any personal information in chatting with khanmigo the last thing is that is khanmigo always right now again this is where uh, when you see the demo from the kalpita ma'am that she had showed you would also see a message at the top that khanmigo can sometime make mistakes and again not just khanmigo but ai as a technology itself is built on something called as a large language models these large language models operate on the basis of the data that is fed in order to basically give it uh, make it respond to whatever the support that you are going to need sometimes there could be inaccuracies in that data itself sometimes as an evolving technology it could also make mistake and that's where we always request you to use khanmigo or any of the ai tool along with your own critical thinking so one of the way of doing that is always verify ask yourself is this helping me to serve the need that i have for my classroom can i reconfirm this answer from the similar source maybe reconfirm it with the chat gpt uh, with the khanmigo itself can i have some follow up question asked to the khanmigo itself to reconfirm whether that question is correct so those are the ways in which you can ensure that khanmigo is giving you the right answer and you are taking it to your classroom but as i always said uh, as i have been saying here 
it is something that can sometimes make a mistake as a new technology and we just need to use it along with our own critical thinking so those are some of the common questions that we have seen from the uh, from the teachers but i think my request to kalpita ma'am is that since we are coming towards the end of the session we just have i think eight more minutes uh, one of the things that I had shared at the start of the session is we definitely would like to hear your thoughts about how this session, you liked it, what you liked about Kanmigo, about the session, and have some questions also to check your understanding from the session. So my request to Kalpita ma'am would be is in the chat box, if we could also share the feedback form link with all the teachers, so the teachers can submit their assessment form. And while teachers are submitting the form, we can also take some questions that already I think uh, uh, Amrita ma'am have asked, as well as uh, Manohar sir has also asked, we'll take those questions. Any new questions, if you have, then those also something that you can share it uh, in the chat box. In the next seven minutes, we will try to take some of your questions. Uh, thank you so much. Kalpita ma'am has shared the form. Please share your feedback form because that will help us to understand what can we do better in this session as well. And uh, what did you like in the session? Please do share that also with us. Uh, Kalpita ma'am, while now I think teachers are filling the form, can we show a quick demo of the class snapshot as well? Uh, Amrita ma'am, I'm assuming that you are one of the teacher who is using Khan Academy for your students. That means you may probably already have a class created for yourself. Uh, Kalpita ma'am, can you go to your own uh, India Learns account so that we can show a quick demo of the Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, I will. Uh, start sharing my screen with the platform. Right, so let me quickly log into my account here so that we can quickly take a look at how do you use the class snapshot feature. Now, uh, while this question has been asked by Amrita ma'am, I would also like to share this for a lot of other teachers uh, who have joined us who already have their Khan Academy teacher accounts, right? Uh, almost all the teachers who have joined us from JNV schools have an account, have classes in which students have been added. And in case other teachers also want to use this tool, what you have to do is create an account, add your students to it if you're assigning content to them. And then you can use the class snapshot tool, which will give you a quick summary of where your students are, uh, how many of them are spending time practicing on Khan Academy, how many of them need some additional support. That's the kind of summary that the class snapshot tool can provide to you. Right. So uh, let's take a quick look at how to use this. I'm going to go to Khan Migo and go to my teacher tools. In my teacher tools, let me pick the tool class snapshot. In the top row, yes. Here it is. So the class snapshot tool uh, gives you all the options of the different classes which you have created on uh, Khan Academy. So here I'm going to choose my class over here. Let's say I look at the class six English class. And I've asked Khan Migo, how is my class doing? Let me see if Khan Migo is going able to give me a quick uh, snapshot of how this class is performing. So again, I would like to re-emphasize here. This is only for those teachers whose students are using Khan Academy regularly. You will be able to see the performance of the student, summary of your student's performance. That was the question that was asked by Amrita ma'am. If your students aren't using Khan Academy, then I think the first step would be is for them to use Khan Academy, and then you will be able to use the class snapshot as a feature. Uh, now, if you can see here, uh, Kalpita ma'am, if you can scroll up, Khan Migo has given you a summary of the table that shows you how many learning minutes that the, your uh, students have spent on Khan Academy. So your goal is 30 minutes and your class average has been 12 minutes. So in one click with one, uh, you know, with one page, you are able to see a summary of the how many percentage uh, average score that the student has scored in the assignments, on the exercises. If you have assigned any mastery goals for the students, then that also you will be able to see it in the skills report over here. You can see the number of skills that the students have leveled up. These are the course mastery goals assigned, and you can see the median percentage progress. How many weeks have passed since the goal assigning? How many weeks are remaining? All of this information is available for you. At the same time, 
Khan Migo towards the end of this is also giving you some of its own prompt. Prompt is basically a question that you can ask to Khan Migo, an example of a question. And that is what is also giving you an example, which students should be celebrated for their work on assignments. So those are exactly the kind of questions that you as a teacher will have a curiosity about. And that's where Khan Migo will help you without going through a very detailed uh, you know, analysis of the reports. It can give you a summary, quick summary that can help you to uh, celebrate certain students, understand which students needs a little bit more support. Uh, and that's how you can you know, use this. Again, a quick reminder, those of you uh, who are uh, who haven't filled the feedback form yet, please fill the feedback form while we are taking some questions. Those who have any questions, please feel free to share it in the chat box while we are you know, discussing this question. I hope, Amrita ma'am, we have answered, uh, you know, we have helped you with some of this demo of the class snapshot. Please, again, feel free to play around with this tool a little bit after this session, and you will be able to you know, see how it uh, works. But uh, Manohar sir has also asked one more question. We have two minutes more. So I'm just trying to get um, you know, as many questions as we can. Manohar yeah. has asked that, can you give me a demo of 20 multiple choice questions on quadratic equations for class 10? Uh, multiple choice questions. So we have a separate tool, again, Manohar sir, for that. It's called multiple choice quiz. So multiple choice quiz. Now question that sir has is, quadratic equations great yes, before great. we move into this question sorry to interject here we have received about 10 responses on our feedback form so far so i would uh, sincerely request all the other teachers to uh, please fill that form as well it is really important for us to hear your feedback and i really hope that the form also gives you an opportunity to just think about what you were able to learn from this session so please do not miss out on that opportunity to share feedback with us and reflect. It will take you less than five minutes to fill the form, but it's extremely valuable for us. So please make sure you're filling the form. Uh, if most of you are uh, busy paying attention to the demos that we are still seeing, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, please continue to do that. But uh, do also take out a couple of minutes to fill that form while you are listening to everything that we're discussing here. Yeah. On that note, let's get back to uh, our quick uh, demonstration of the multiple choice quiz tool. Um, Sanket, were you saying something else before I was about to proceed? No, I think uh, the question that sir has asked is the uh, topic that she has given recommended is quadratic equations for class 10. Awesome. Right. So we have quadratic equations. What is the grade that Sir has suggested? Class eight, right? Class ten. Class ten. So we can go ahead with high school math India, the first one yes. that we're getting. Yes. Okay. And uh, Sir, over here we have about ten questions which Kanmiu can generate in one go. So let us select the maximum number of questions right now as number ten. Please feel free to generate this one more time if you want an additional set of 10 questions, right? This is for 10th grade. So we have selected the topic. We have selected the grade level and the number of questions. So if you have noticed, there are two options here when you are giving the topic. You can either select a particular course from Khan Academy that is already available for students. Or you can tell Khan Migo that, listen, I want questions for my own content. So you have that option as well. Feel free to choose whatever one suits you the best. You can also try out the option, the outcomes from both of these options and then go ahead with the one that suits you the best. Yeah, let's click on start and see if Khan Migo is able to generate a MCQ quiz for us. Uh, so, uh, while that happens, some of the teachers are struggling to fill the form. Yes, thank you, Sanket. Right, so our quiz is here. We have a set of 10 questions that Khan Migo has generated. Along with that, the options are also given to us. And Khan Migo is also generating a quick answer key. As Sanket sir pointed out earlier, Khan Migo may not always be right. Right, and that's the note that you're getting over here as well. It may contain certain mistakes. So please make sure that you're doing a quick check of some of these things and verifying them as well. 
manohar sir i hope this helps you i think thank you so much first of all for sharing us this prompt thank you so much for the engagement uh, and i hope uh, you know this this helps you to uh, sort of like try it on your level as well uh, why don't you sir try 10 more questions from your end as well after this session today uh yes ruchi ma'am has requested for the form link so i'll share the form link once again here uh and in the meantime if anybody else has any questions then do share uh in the chat box we are already at 5:30 more than 5:30 5:32 we'll just wait for a couple of minutes more uh for any questions that if you have yes uh prince sir naneshwar sir i see your hands raised uh please feel free to ask any questions that you might have in the chat box while we are waiting Kalpita ma'am can we go back to the deck in the meantime absolutely on the last slide yeah now the next one so thank you so much teachers i think if there are no questions anymore i think then um, please feel free to again within the khan academy's platform itself you will see a resources tab where lots of resources lots of questions support articles around khanmigo are also available uh, that will help you to answer any more question that if you get even while trying out khan academy platform uh, we hope that as as i think uh, sal khan's video where he had shared that you are some of the first people who will be using khanmigo in india so you are going to be the pioneer in using ai khanmigo tool in india so we are really really excited about your feedback do share your feedback because that's what will what will help us to make it better and uh, ensure that you know basically it helps more and more teachers like you and more and more students as well so thank you so much for joining us in this session manushri kapoor ma'am has asked will we have another session same as this one i missed joining on time no problem manushri ma'am if you would like to join a session that is happening tomorrow tomorrow session is going to be happening in hindi if you or any of your teachers in your network who would like to have uh, you know participate in this session then tomorrow we have one more session at 4 o'clock that will be a session that will be done in hindi medium so please feel free to share that uh, link with those teachers you will receive that link over a whatsapp groups if you are part of our one of the existing partners if not then wherever you had received the email the joining link for the today's session just reply to that email and request us for the hindi session link and we will send you the hindi session link for tomorrow so thank you so much manushri ma'am for your participation and for the questions and uh, all the best to all the teachers really really excited to hear back your feedback after you try khanmigo thank you so much thank you so much kalpita ma'am thank you and i also have another request here if any of you are associated with khan academy already and you are on any of the whatsapp groups please do share screenshots of your experience with khanmigo if you have any questions if you have any experiences that you would love to share we are more than happy to hear from you uh, please continue sharing uh, your experiences and screenshots with us on whatsapp thank you so much thanks everyone we'll see you soon and all the best